Yo, what is going on guys? Tierler Swift here coming back at you with another tier list video. And this is one that I have had commented relentlessly on some of my past tier lists that people really wanted to see an Edgewalk tier list and everything. So we're finally here. But before we get into that, a couple things. Remember, the Master Execution tier list thing is still going to be coming soon. And you guys are stupid and decided to get that emote tier list to 7,000 likes so that's why why did you do it I just said a number but you guys didn't have to do it now my bank account is crying and so am I I don't like that but I'm gonna do it eventually it's not gonna be something that's like super immediate there's other tier lists and stuff I want to make and obviously as you guys know that's a lot of a lot of money to, 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 to do it so uh, I'm just stuttering thinking about it so that that will come eventually uh, don't I won't go back on my word on that but Anyways, for this one, the edge walk tier list. Now, when I look at an edge walk, there's there's really one main thing that I look for that makes a good edge walk. If it pisses me the fuck off, all right, doesn't really matter. Not a lot of the actual characters have like real like animations actually to their edge walk to make them a little edgier or whatever. There's a, there's a couple of them that really stand out, but not all of them. A lot of them are just kind of normal walks. And there's probably a couple characters that are more likely to do it and that you've probably encountered more more so than others and i'm going to touch on those as well but that's the main criteria i'm looking at of course this is all opinionated you guys can think differently whatever this is a tier list about fucking people walking okay well not actually fucking people walking that's kind of weird because you also have to keep moving if you're the person behind you guys you know what whatever we'll get into the tier list S through D, as you guys know, D being dog shit, S being super sweet. Let's hop right into this. So obviously we're going to be doing the D tier first and keep a couple things in mind. You know, these are just legitimately people walking again. Like I said, it's it's kind of hard to judge it per se. And also, if I mess up while moving the character, it's kind of hard. All right. To keep your thumb placed at just an angle that precisely for a for a long amount of time without it twitching. At least it is for me. So please, please don't don't get too mad if there's any choppiness to the to the walks. If I stop something randomly, it's because my finger wanted to die. But anyway, starting off in D, we have Chiandi. And really, I don't have too much to say. I mean, you look at it, they're legitimately just walking. That's legitimately everything that's happening. They're only walking. I mean, that's that's it. I so I can't I can't put a mire. They're just walking. Moving on into the D tier, we have Peacekeeper. And pretty similar to that of Tiandi, I mean, PK is literally just walking. I mean, you guys might have different experiences. You might have went up against a PK or a Tiandi that, you know, just edge walked on you over and over and you got really pissed off. Unfortunately, that hasn't happened to me, so I can't put them anywhere higher. Again, legitimately just walking. Don't feel any sort of anger, any sort of anger towards it. All right, and the last character in D is going to be Berserker. Berserker is, I think, one of the least edgiest characters in this game, despite having multiple edges on their weapons but the thing that really gets me about berserker's edge walk is like he keeps twitching his head when he's going in there because he's cracked out this guy's going through withdrawal already and just him walking he looks like he just wants to find like cocaine that looks like what he's in search of so it doesn't piss me off but it actually makes me want to put him back into some like sort of rehab facility so next we'll be moving into c tier c is just I guess slightly better than D and it may, maybe there's just a little bit of animation difference or anything with the walks or what I think maybe they piss me off a little bit more but anyway starting off in C is going to be Valk now the only thing really that kind of gets me with Valk is the way she kind of struts herself a little bit she's kind of like ha, yep I beat you you're fucking Garbo but Valk is BB girl I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest she doesn't get me too upset if that if the edge walk happened on me you know I'll gladly let her walk all over me let's be honest with you guys right now but yeah this one doesn't really piss me off that much but it does have a little bit more to offer than those ones did in the d tier all right moving up next in c is nabushi nabushi kind of has that same type of strut that valk does kind of being like yeah fuck you but i'm gonna be honest i don't have a lot of nabushi's ever edge walk on me let's be really honest most uh no most nabushi's are pretty actually skillful if they beat you uh ones that are bad will obviously get destroyed but uh i feel like the the thing that annoys me more then if like a Nabushi edgewalk, I mean, it's just me getting cucked by hidden stance over and over and over. Nabushi, although she does have a little bit more of like a uh -huh, fuck you to her walk, she is definitely not one that you see do it too often. Coming up next in C tier is Nushia. And the main reason that this one's in C and not D again, it's just pretty much a walking animation. But a goddamn her fucking face, dude, just pisses me off. That's really the only reason. If she didn't have this face, then she'd probably be D, but 
just because her eyes are just, I can never tell what direction they're looking. She's in C. All right, next up in the C tier is going to be the Warlord. The Warlord, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, absolute unit, okay? It would, it would suck to get edge walked by this man, but I'm gonna be completely honest. If a Warlord beats you and they might be a little toxic or anything, you're just gonna get emote spam. They're not gonna even do the edge walk. Because one of the default ones, he legitimately humps the ground. He's gonna he's gonna park his nuts right over your face, and he's just gonna spam that over and over, and that's gonna piss you off way more than this edge walk is going to do. And let me tell you, that's just right there. He definitely has other means of annoying you, and so that's why he's in C because you just frankly don't do it too frequently. And the final character in the C tier is going to be Highlander. Now Highlander's edge walk is a bit more disrespectful. Obviously, he's got his little weapon up on his shoulder. It's not a little weapon. It's a large weapon. It's a large claymore. But again, for the same reason as uh, Warlord, if this happens, you're uh, you're probably just going to get emote spammed by the Highlander, being completely honest. He's got a lot of nice spams, and not to mention just an absolutely glorious offensive emote spam. So that's going to happen way more frequently than the Edge Walk, which is why I have to put it again in the C tier. So next up, we got the B tier. The B tier is the pretty average one. You might see them do some Edge Walks from time to time. You know, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. They got pretty good animations for the uh, edge walks, but it's nothing crazy, which is why they're only B, which is basically just the average tier. So starting off in the B tier is Gladiator. And first, take a look at how freaking sexy my Gladiator looks. Oh my goodness, let's be completely honest. Just an absolute unit. Gladiator has some pretty nice movement to his edge walk. And again, nice little stuff going on there with the arms kind of just being like, eh, it was pretty easy, by the way. It wasn't really a challenge, but again, it's just, the the normal animation is just pretty is pretty like just a normal like walk so it doesn't really do too much for me when he's doing like the other stuff shrugging the shoulders off that that might get me a little bit heated which is why i'm putting it in b because it has the potential to piss me off especially if i get like zoned over and over oh yeah you know i'm gonna be angry at that moment but it's just an average one for me next up in the b tier is going to be sent i feel like some of you might think that sent's gonna be higher but i don't know it kind of seemed a little average to me Again, I think he does have a, just a plethora of options for emote spam that he can use as well. But at the same time, you do see Sense Edge Walk a little bit more frequently than you would those of like a Warlord or a Highlander, which is why I'm putting him a little bit higher on here. I mean, he is an edgy boy, let's just be completely honest with it, and it does piss you off, especially if you just like someone tries to like just spam a bunch of like kicks or punches on you and you end up getting, you know, parried once into a wall and then the unblockable comes through because that makes sense and then punching you and then you're dead. The next one in B tier is going to be the Shaman, and the main reason that I put Shaman in B is just merely for the fact that she doesn't even hold her weapons while walking. She's just, clearly the fight's over, she doesn't care, she holsters them bad boys up, and is like, yeah, let's go fucking, go for a little stroll, why don't we? And that, that one can piss you off quite a bit, but again, I don't know, I think the character itself just annoys me more. I, I mean, I feel like I don't see too many Shaman's edge walk. potentially it could be a new thing, because I think it might be a little underrated saying this might be one of the more underrated edge walks in the game so maybe if you maybe if you uh win on shaman maybe you have to do this a little more frequently and then maybe it would piss me off a little more but at the moment it's pretty average so I'll put it in b next character in b is going to be shaolin and as you can see shaolin has got a very little lackadaisical approach to it you know he's just kind of chilling just like yeah whatever guys i kicked you probably a bunch 400 ms lights nbd but i feel like as you get higher in the tier list for this i feel like characters maybe with more like spammable move sets might be a little bit higher because those ones you, you know you've probably had to go through a lot already fighting them and then at the end just to see them do this that would kind of piss you off but again i don't see too many shaolins actually go for this approach again i gotta say underrated like shaman but don't see it too frequently that's why we're putting it right in b and the final character in b is going to be aramusha and the main reason we got aramusha in here is obviously look at this he's got his head down a little bit blades extended right he doesn't have them right at his side he kind of holds those bad boys out and that's kind of disrespectful if i'm not even gonna lie and let me just let me just hear this you guys if you if you guys are just you know lost a match and all of a sudden you just hear the clip clop of the gucci flop you're gonna be a little upset with that being said though too many aramushas are probably just like suffering trying to just get a victory but by the end of it they t they've taken their con hands off of their controllers and they're just they're hitting themselves because they chose to play this character in duels who is just not good so that's why Armush is in B, because again, you don't see it too frequently, but it does have a very nice animation. Now we're going to be moving into the A tier. The A tier, again, are going to be pretty solid edge walks. They probably happen, you know, they can happen frequently and everything, and but they're just not quite at that point that sends them over the top into the true edgelord realm. That is the S tier. So that is going to be actually crazy. But starting off in the A, 
we have Lawbringer. And, you know, first off, let's just say, if you lose to a Lawbringer in duels, you probably deserve to get Edge Walked on. Let's be honest, the guy fucking sucks. But hopefully that rework's going to do pretty nice for him. But look at this animation. You know, as I probably fuck it up and in the thing you probably see, just one hand on on the pole axe just kind of strutting himself looking looking for the next opponent because you clearly were not good enough and he just kind of struts away lawbringers is pretty solid but again the lawbringer mains they have it tough again they're probably in the same thing as aramusha they're probably just like just hitting themselves after playing because they're like wow how did i actually go through that and manage to get a victory and they don't even think about doing the edge walk but the lawbringers is very good nonetheless next up in a we have the raider now similarly to uh lawbringer raider has very 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 good emote spam and i should have mentioned that when i did lawbringer and you can definitely use that instead and you will find that a lot of lawbringers and raiders do that respectively but look at this if a raider kills you and he just does this little strut he's got his shoulders off dude he's just like yeah that's right i am a man and you are just a mortal weakling and this guy is just it's just absolutely terrifying and it's actually infuriating at, at the same at the same time so if this ever happens and then maybe he hits you with a little little hump hump action you're gonna be pretty upset but again, it's just not quite enough to put it into the S tier. Next up in the A tier is going to be Kensei. Kensei kind of similar to Lawbringer with the one hand on the weapon and then on the shoulder. Again, just pisses you off. Imagine losing and then this face is looking just... You have to stare into this face while you wait for the next round to start. That would really, really suck. And again, it's, it's pretty edgy. I've done it myself. You know why? Because edge walking actually pisses me off way more than like chat spamming, emote spamming. If someone just walks for some reason, I get triggered beyond belief, and I'm not even going to lie. I've done it once or twice. I'm guilty. Don't crucify me. If I was in a match where I kind of got angered, I've done it. And let me tell you, I'm sure the other person was not too happy about it. But again, animation isn't insane, so that's why it's not quite an S. Next up in A, we have the Conqueror. And let's just be honest, you've probably been in a numerous amount of occasions where you've gotten shield bashed over and over and over again, and you're just super angry. And then at the end, the Conqueror... First off, probably does throws a couple raws your way, and then he just ends up walking away, kind of like so. The most disrespectful thing about this is the fact that his flail kind of jiggles, or his mace, or whatever the fuck it's called, and that's probably the most annoying part about it. But again, I feel like you do see more emote spams from the Conqueror, rather than the Edgewalk, but it is still very edgy, and it happens kind of frequently just because Conquerors use it, have a kind of a spammy move set and whatnot, so that kind of is annoying to deal with. The final character we have in A is JJ Jing Jun. And the main thing that makes this super disrespectful is that the fact that, like, JJ just legitimately just has just got a stomach sticking out. He's letting it all hang out just because he doesn't have to doesn't have to tense up anymore because he was in a fight. He's just pushing it out, letting the world know that he is a unit and that he just fucking clapped your cheeks. So that's pretty disrespectful. That being said, again, I don't see too many JJs. Really emote spam or edge walk. So again. You guys need to try this one out, okay? It's definitely underrated, because if I if I turn the camera a little bit, you guys just see this guy's the, the, the absolute mass of this unit. Like, look at him. Just pushing it all out there. You gotta love it. Now we'll be moving into the S tier, which is the edgiest of the edgelords. And this, the first one might come to a surprise to you. I mean, I mean, not really a surprise, but it might be in there for a different reason. The fact that it's Shigoki, again, it is not maybe the most, uh, like, frequent edge walk that you might see but it does have the best animation i think in the entire game for the walking animation shigoki just look at him absolute unit just actually pounding the earth with every step he takes and just kind of moving his entire body with the flow of it yet yeah you would hate to see this obviously if someone did this to you i would not enjoy if this happened and just it's got the best animation that's why i had to put it in s and it couldn't go anywhere lower next character in s is going to be shinobi and of course i think it's pretty universally accepted that shinobi is a cuck so if this happens uh you know it's it's pretty much expected for a shinobi to do this to you shinobi kind of usually gets the short end of the stick when it comes to like executions emotes and everything cool for like spammable reasons so this is pretty much one of the only options that the shinobi's got and let me tell you i hate it i hate the character and i hate when this happens to me because it's quite annoying because he's a He's, he's just an annoying, like, little gnat. He's just a bug that you want to swat, but he just kind of keeps evading you somehow. And so that reason, I gotta put Shinobi in S, just because it's just, it's the, it's one of the worst. Next in S, we have the Black Prior, and the character just exudes Edge. I mean, the guy's got freaking, like, mascara all around his eyes, and he just legitimately is one of the edgiest-looking characters in the game. And again, just this combo with the fact that you're probably getting Tenebrist or Abrofundis over and over again. 
uh, and then this happens to you, I would be pretty, uh, pretty pissed because, you know, I don't play duels as frequently anymore, but I played a duel, went against Blackbriar, legitimately only did that, and then proceeded to walk away when they won one out of, one out of the three rounds. So, uh, that, that really actually irked me. Even though I won the thing, I felt like a little piece of me had died inside, and it was all due to the fact of someone just slightly holding down their, <laughs> their, their analog stick, which really actually pissed me off. Next up in S, we have Warden, and as you can see, there's actually two animation styles that the Warden has for doing their edge walk. This is definitely the most annoying one, where they kind of have their their sword at their hip right here and it took me a second to get it because if you're not you kind of just go back to having your arms to the side and warden is one of the characters that does it the actual most in the entire game warden and the character that you will be seeing next actually ed edge walk the most frequently i would say out of anyone in the game like you get killed by a warden you can expect this to happen to you and it makes me want to die and the final character in the game for the edge walk tier list that probably has the most edge walks per match ratio the highest one is going to be ah fuck my hand oh my guys my hand is bleeding because i cut it on the fucking edge of orochi are you kidding me it has kind of the same similar style to that of warden where they kind of have their hand up by their hip with their weapon just kind of ready holstered to go and you can almost guarantee if you die to an orochi that this is going to happen to you and let me just tell you they brought the player probably in their mind is just thinking ha, you've been slain by my blade like, Orochi is just edgy. We can we can all agree on that. And look at that. He's about to draw his blade right there for a second. What a fucking weirdo. Get out of my life. It actually pisses me off. I think Orochi, just in general, is what made me hate edge walking first. Like, look at this one, too. That animation where he's got his little hand on his, on his like, uh, hilt ready to pull it out. Like, don't do that. That's just weird. I don't like it. You actually are stupid. I want to walk off the cliff, but unfortunately, there's barriers that prevent me from doing that. So that's going to do it, guys, for the tier list. Again, master tier list will be put up on the screen right now, just in case you want to see the total list. And, you know, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Leave a like on it because, you know, just do it because I'm going to have to spend a lot of money on that emote spam tier list. And it, I just appreciate it. You know, it'd be cool if you guys did that. Uh, you know, I have a bunch of other, you know, tier lists that I can make. Like, it's almost kind of endless what I can do, and I can make just a lot of stupid ones. Like, like effect tier list is probably coming at some point, and then people are just like, who has the best out of Stoom in the woke? And I'm like, okay, and stuff like that. And it's like, can you make a please a foot tier list? And I'm like, oh, okay. So, I mean, literally possibilities are endless, and we'll, we'll probably be doing this for a while, to say the least. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and your boy Tony. Talk to the next one. Peace.